Hello everyone, morning, welcome to the Norfolk coast. I'm at Caister on Sea today. Um, went out this morning hoping that we would have a little bit um, less cloud and I could shoot one of the Broadland locations, maybe one of the iconic Broadland places, but um, not to be today. So I'm at the, my beloved coast, which is never a problem. And it's been a nice sort of subtle start to the day here. Um, nice bit of twilight color, a little bit of pink, very nice. And I'm just at the coast and I'm just gonna challenge myself to shoot some abstracts at the coast. And today I am not gonna use the 135 lens, not one bit. Cue dramatic music, that zoom effect where you go, oh, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna try the 2470 and see what I can do with the 2470 shooting abstracts. Maybe I can shoot some wider stuff. It's not really the day for that, I don't think. It's particularly, um, I mean, the clouds are lovely, but not really. It's sort of, a, sort of a slight hazy type of cloud feel. So I'm gonna be looking down here at the sea, looking over there at the wind farm maybe, and just enjoying myself at the coast. So I'll put some of my earlier images up um, in a minute with the lovely sort of pink shades, those sort of twilight shades. And then my challenge is to see what I can find around here and keep myself occupied for an hour or so and hopefully make this a rather entertaining vlog too. We'll see, that might be a bit of a challenge, but who knows? There's always something to shoot at the coast, always. So I'll get back to you in a little while after I've shown you the initial images. And um, yeah, great, great stuff, great stuff. Oh me, can't see. <laughs> hey. So what I'm doing at the moment, guys, is I'm working on this little bit down here where the sea's coming in and just putting a couple of stones, sorry, I disappeared, Della. <laughs> putting a couple of stones in the corner of the image and then waiting for the waves to come through, start dragging back, press the shutter, and then you get that lovely sort of streaky effect over the stones. Quite effective, took about 247,000 different versions, which is a bit of a lie, but took a few versions just so I can look through them quickly at home and go, oh yeah, that one, that one, that one. Don't be too obsessed and you don't want, you know, loads and loads of versions, but it's just a wonderful thing to look at. Just nice abstracts and it's just, oh yeah, there might be some more of those in a little while. What we've got at Caister is um, some wonderful sea defense rocks, um, but the tide is not in high enough at the moment because they would be absolutely fantastic for um, abstracts, but that's a pity. But for the moment, I'm just work at working at the shoreline. I'll put a few of these up in a minute, um, quite effective. And then I'll just see which way I go, whether I walk northwards, there's some, maybe, actually maybe some of the tide is starting to touch some of the rocks, so I might go that way now. Uh, the sun's now starting to come up, though it's very, very muted. Yeah, just love you being out at the coast. Just love you being out at the coast. Ooh, watch the big waves, John. And don't forget, when you're taking anything at the coast or anything like long exposures, really ram those tripod legs into the sand. Just one wave going over them can spoil one of your five second, 10 second, 15 second images. So make sure that tripod is well rooted in the sand. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this off now and get on with some more stuff and get back to you in a little while after I put those abstracts up, okay? Cheers. Yeah, nice exercise, nice exercise using that. I've been using the six stop filter. I've also just been using the polarizer just to give it a fairly slow shutter speed and just seeing what look I actually like. Do I want the milky sea effect today or do I just want the, um, a little bit of sense of movement? It's um, one of those things I'll probably work out once I get back to the computer and see which I think is the most pleasing to me. But I'm gonna just move on now. I said I was gonna move on a minute ago, but I've been um, seduced by these lovely water patterns and the lovely shiny pebbles because the, um, the sun has come up a little bit more now, so there's some nice light on it. So I'm just gonna walk over now to the sea defense rocks and see if there's anything I can do there. But um, 
It's lovely. Lovely morning. But now I can just see the reflection of the um, sun on the sun on the water there. So I think there might be some nice shots of the waves before I go to those rocks. Finally. Anyway, yeah. Let's just see if there's something there for me. Okay. So I'm currently still on the shoreline, still haven't got to those rocks yet. I'm just replicating a shot I saw, um, I saw, <laughs> I saw earlier. And it's looking in the distance there. You probably can't see, but there's three lovely sort of tide marking post sort of things. So what I'm going for is a very, very sort of fine art type look. Let me just get the camera out of the sea and get myself out of the sea. Just a sort of a fine art, long exposure look with the three posts, the sea on about a 20 second exposure. The sky isn't doing much. It's become very, very sort of um, monotone. So it's, yeah, it's a fine art look. Not really something I do, but just those three posts appeal to me. So I'll put those up in a minute, see if they work. And um, yeah, I will go to those rocks. I'm also gonna have a look, look at the wind farm because it'll make a nice subject today. Very, very muted tones. Some nice nice shapes in the clouds um, behind the wind farm. So that might look rather nice. Mustn't put the 135 on. Promise I will not put it on. So yeah, just enjoying my coastal morning. So I'll put some more stuff up in a minute to see if that all works. Yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. There's the rocks in the distance and I still haven't got there. I think I've took a really nice image. I'm not sure and I won't know until I get home really. But what I've done is, and we're quite bright behind there, but I focused towards the wind farm, the last three turbines, nice, th you know, a nice, um, nice odd number, always works well um, with photography. So I've got a three right at the end. I haven't zoomed in, I'm, I'm shooting at, it was about, about 60, 65, and it's got the three turbines, a long exposure, slightly underexposed, should I say, as well. And there's some beautiful, beautiful warm light coming through on the sea in the exposure. I think these could be really nice if I can process them okay and get that look. But um, very happy with that, very happy. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to definitely go to the rocks. This vlog is going to be called John Finally Gets to the Rocks. They're over there. I've only got to walk two minutes, so I'm going to have a look, see what the light is like on those. Might be some nice abstracts. Yeah, nice morning, nice morning. Really, really, really chuffed. Great to be out, great to be out. Oh, beautiful bit of sunlight now. Wow, well, I finally got to the rocks. I'm also thinking, yeah, I wonder what I can do with the tide markers here. Might be nice, taking a nice bit of light there on the top. But let me swing around quickly. It's going to be a bit bright quickly. Look at all the lovely rocks there. They wouldn't that be great if the sea was in here? Where's my finger, usual? If the sea was in here, I could take some nice abstracts of the, of the water going around the rocks, be some nice long exposure stuff. Anyway, not going to happen, is it? Not at the moment, anyway but there is some nice light on the rocks. You can see all that beautiful reflective light. So there might be some nice rock abstracts. Now, normally I'd probably be reaching for the 135, but today, you know, I'm gonna be training myself to use the 2470 for stuff like um, abstract images like that. And there really are some beautiful shapes and colors. Um, all that beautiful granite and, oh, love it. Absolutely love it. And yeah, those tide markers are gonna be another challenge. Well, this is really becoming a bit of a, Coastal Abstract Challenge, which will probably be the title of the vlog, I imagine. But really nice, really nice. So, um, yes, I'm gonna have a little play around here, see what I can find with the rocks, and I'll put those up in a minute. Yeah, lovely, lovely. John at the coast, John's a happy John. Okay, get back to in a little while.
Yeah, great, great stuff. Look at all those beautiful shapes in the rocks, all those lovely abstracts waiting to be taken. So just shooting with um, focus shift suit, um, focus shift shooting set onto the camera, maybe taking about 10 or 11 images and then I can stack them all together. Just so I make sure I got front to back, well, front to back, it's not like it's a wide landscape, but just so I make sure I got the whole subject in focus. Wonderful shapes, wonderful light, the sea's starting to come in, so maybe I can get some long exposures around the rocks as well in a little while. Got nowhere to go today, no real agenda, so um, I can take my time and enjoy. Might get a few strange looks from the locals, but I don't give a monkeys. Lovely, great stuff. I'll put some abstracts up in a minute and hopefully they work, hopefully they look good. Beautiful, oh, yeah, see another one now. <laughs> okay, put some up, hope they're good, hope you like them. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here, playing with the rocks, loving it. Really beautiful shaped rock here behind, sort of an almost like a seashell shape. I said that well, considering the time in the morning. Um, yeah, love it. So I'm gonna put up some more abstracts to finish off and my little goodbyes. And I hope to see you soon from wherever I get to go in this beautiful county of mine. Oh, a bit windy, I hope this audio is gonna be okay. Um, Look after yourselves, guys, all right? Thanks ever so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to um, this lovely old boy's channel and leave a like, leave a comment, a bit of feedback, anything just to help would be great. Look after yourselves, hug your loved ones, and I hope to see you soon, all right? Take care, look after yourselves. Bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.